this is a update on Bill Blacks. Um, I think that... So this is the third stream in the row that I mentioned him. Um, last Monday, I want to say, was the top... Stop uh, hating Tommy C. Pill stream. Which Tommy C. even commented on. I thought that was funny. I think his comment was something like... Um, this is the only time I've heard this guy talk about me without pure contempt or, or something like that, which is true. Every time, I don't know what it is. I don't even have any reason to hate Tommy C. Um, I just do. Because I, I guess it's like a natural thing. Some people are genetically predisposed to Tommy C. hatred and you have to take a pill for it. I, mean, I refuse to take any medication ever for any reason. So um, that, I'm going to have to miss out on that. I think it's his voice. I just hate his fucking voice. He just sounds like the slimiest fucking grease bag to ever live. Uh, I'm proving his point, by the way, but that was his comment that made me laugh. Uh, the second time I mentioned Blow Blacks was on Friday because he had had a little therapy session with Nick DiOrio and a couple other people. By the way, I made a tweet, and I was I was um, mistaken. I had just assumed that Tommy C. was making fun of Blow Blacks. Uh, Tommy C. says like, he hasn't had any real communication with him in a very long time, so it's just Nick DiOrio and... and uh, his friends that are making fun of Blow Blacks. Uh, and now I mention him today because there is another shocking twist in this, uh, in the f mental fucking decline of this guy. For some reason, these are the tiniest images ever fucking posted on the internet. R really great job. Look, just thank you, Gunt Super Soldier, my strongest warrior. I really like these thumbnails for fucking ants, bro. Uh, Nick Dorio says, and this is uh, a quote of a tweet, uh, Blow Blacks post on Zitter saying, By the way, this is the optics check I was screaming at Nick about. I didn't want to come out as non-binary yet, but I feel like I have to now because screaming at Nick about optics checks looks more unhinged without this context. This is a conversation where Nick DeOrio says, I don't know, bro, I would just stop tweeting stuff like that. You're re randomly tweeting about non-binary people being valid doesn't make people doesn't make people be valid. You're using the correct pronouns in a video while others are misgendering people will make them feel valid. Tweeting trans rights is infinitely less valuable than just tw treating trans people like normal human beings in your actual content. That's why people are saying that you're vir virtue signaling. And then Blow Black says, I'm non-binary. That's why I tweeted it. I told Slacker three years ago. You can confirm it with him. Ryan Beard also knew. Now let's get a picture. Can we get a picture of this guy up real quick? I know there's one in the thread. Uh, by the way, I called this a fucking year ago. Here we go. So he's got long hair because he's a heckin' NB. A heck, can we get a heckin' valid NB? That's what, that's what you're looking at right here. Is that a man? No. Is that a woman? No. That is a heckin' valid NB chat. Get it right. They, them, motherfucker. Um, also really funny. I don't know if this is the next one. No, it's not the next one that I have lined up. I think it was this thread? Or after this po this uh, page? Yes, it is. Okay. From Catboy Ranch Dressing. I'll give him the most special sticker because I forgot about this until he posted it. Uh, he says, this is from Queen Cafals. Queen Cafals ordains to notice this lowly peon. He says, Josh, I love Sonic. Please respond. To which Blowblax replies, that's epic as fuck. Josh, do you like this meme? And then it's a picture of um, our video that someone had clipped. Velvet Bunny clipped this from the Queen Cafal stream. Uh, I think he's bouncing up and down to jiggle his man tits. And he says, in this clip, I was making fun of how they give Rouge, Rouge, R Rouge, Rogue, Rogue? I think it's Rogue. Rogue the Bat Jiggle Physics in SA2. To which Blowblax replies, lol. This is very spicy. This is a hot sonic flirtation between two uh, trans identifying people. This is the this is why they transition because the love life, the the 
romance, the eroticism between two non-binaries, two transgenders, is the stickiest, warmest love and passion that exists. Man and woman cannot cannot compete. Cis people don't even apply. This is what you get when you cross to the the to cross the realm, cross the threshold. Uh, Keffels continues. I feel the same way about my content, but with trans people. A lot of teenagers message me saying I gave them the courage to come out to their parents. It's a really good feeling. Which Blowblacks replies, I'm really happy that young trans people feel more confident because of your presence online. Every type of person needs someone else to be inspired by, help push and improve their self-confidence. It just so happens that people who can do that are lacking in more niche communities like trans and autistic. So I'm glad you can provide that space for people. Keffels replies and says, They call him Bo Blacks because he bows out your blacks. I've been thinking of this one for weeks. I don't know how to make it funnier. Please help. Blow Blacks replies saying, Haha, I have no idea how to make it funnier. <laughs> just like, I'm just, these two people, I imagine, uh, hold out your hands like you're riding a bicycle chat. You got, you got, you're holding your hands out straight parallel to your shoulders, okay? Then imagine that you have grasped two cold, dead, big fish by the tail fin. And you have these two cold, wet, dead fish. And you're slapping them against the table. And it's just like, pep, 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 pep. Just slapping these fish. And it's just completely uh, flaccid. Uh, <laughs> limp uh uh what's what's it what, clammy slimy gross that is the kind of kinetic energy between these two forces and then Keffels even gets left on red Keffel says i in below blacks does not reply i want to get i want to get back to the cow tools joke here Gaffel says, they call him Bo Blacks because he bows out your blacks. I feel like it doesn't make sense. I, he's trying to say, he, if if you swap the L and make it blow backs, then it makes sense. Which he could have done. He could have done to make the joke make sense, but he chose not to because he's autistic and retarded. <laughs> Suffer, trannies. Okay, next. We have thoroughly humiliated... Oh, wait, no, there's more. I forgot about this. Oh, my God. Okay, so Nick DeOrio decided... I'm going to um, completely ruin this guy's life. I'm going to post all these DMs out of, out of context. or in, I don't know. I think he went fully in context and just scrolled down the entire thing. So uh, These are the unhinged DMs. I've not read these yet. They could suck. Let's see, chat. Is Nick DeOrio going to let me down? Turkey Tom has today. <laughs> What about Nick Dorio? Josh, not that one, says, I did fuck up and kept trying to roast Destiny after my bad tweet. I want to let you know that I'm not trying to be unfair to him. I'm just uh, going nutto a bit, lol. I'm going to be taking a small step back from being super active online for a bit. Just want to let you know that I'm going to let myself turn into a lolcal or become another casualty in the list of commentary friends lost. Um, I don't know if he's trying to say I'm not going to let myself or if he is deliberately saying that. He says, also, feel free to DM me if you think I tweet something bad. Well, that, that, that indicates that indicates a cognitive dissonance. On one hand, he's like, I really want to avoid this. But on the other hand, I know that it's happening. So I'm just going <laughs> to, like, he tries to write, I'm not going to turn to a little cow. And his brain is just like, uh, yeah, that's a directive override, boy. You're not typing those four letters. He says... I need you to listen and think about what I said and make a real apology. Not public optics. Wait, not public, no optics, just you talking to me. I think you fucking owe me that if you even respect me a little bit. 
video form, written form, whatever, I understand that this is a mistake on your part and you had no malicious intent, but I think it's a big fuck up. I don't know if it's being sensitive, but yeah, I'm always worried about being too whiny or bitchy, which is why I like retards like Keem step on me for so many years with zero respect. And now I see that you were doing the same shit with Destiny, letting him walk all over you to correct the record when he called you a big fat retard on his stream over a fucking boogie 298 DMs. To all judges. Uh, Alex, I guess he's talking to Alex. I don't know who that is. He says, the reason I kicked you for... Oh, I think this is messages to Alex from Blow Blacks. He says, the reason I kicked you from my private was because yesterday I was trying to stop my sister from committing suicide while all the pokey stuff was going on. Dude... Is he, is he talking about... Isn't Pokey the one that did the Hogwarts Legacy? Is his sister... His sister's like, oh my god, Pokemane is being cancelled because of Hogwarts Legacy. It's over! I love you, Pokemane! She's dead. Blowbacks runs in and is like, no! No! <laughs> I can't believe it. Um... Anyways, I couldn't vent in real life, so I used my private, and then you started reposting publicly to get me in more trouble. Something I couldn't deal with that day, so I removed you. I'll add you back later. I know you don't mean harm and are just trolling with online drama. Normally, I'd be fine with it, but yesterday was not a good time because of the Pokemon suicide. Many people, many, many, many VTuber fans committed seppuku after the Pokemon debacle. I continues... Maybe won't be as good as doing Mayo Monkey moments than huh? Okay. I can't show you the YouTube thing because YouTube is blocking my VPN, I think. Okay, hold up, hold up. Oh, I'm not going to be able to find it. Because he, he made that like his alternative handle. Okay. Here we go. Please work. Is it going to work? <gasps> it's loading chat. Literally being a male monkey, see? I can do this all day. I don't get fucked up at all, man. If you question how high I am, like now, you should. So he's eaten mayo on raw, straight mayo, several times on stream before, uh, which has earned him the title Mayo Monkey, which is like a like a like a fake slur for white people, and he's embraced that. His private Twitter account is called Mayo Monkey Blacks or some shit. Oh, but he continues. There's so much stuff I want to tell you, mostly positive, but I'm not ready yet, and you probably won't be a week or two, but I want to have a fun Discord chat about the gender stuff if you're open to just if you're open for just one, then I'll stay private and bother you with it, but we'll have theoretical call in a week or two. Also, I'm still he him, Josh, and like pussy and women only. Dick on girls is okay too though, L O L. This nigga This nigga is gay this nigga gay as fuck this nigga sucks dick this nigga gay i've already called that by the way i called this literally a year ago and all that he was doing publicly was defending queen kafals and I, I i knew it and i was like there's no nobody defends trains except chasers bro actually i'll say this one thing because it's helpful for you and drama stuff but Gender euphoria is like a hard drug, and I understand why trans people go so crazy off of it. It's a good thing, but too good. This nigga a gooner. That gender euphoria stuff is a goon thing, man. Poor blue blacks co covering himself in mayo all day. <laughs> all day, every day. No excuses for kafals and ABBA behavior. Though Jen told me some private stuff about her at VidCon. I don't know the updates. And it's not a fetish. If you want an idea, this freak is who I identify with the most. We don't... If you want an idea, this freak is who I identify with the most. 
We don't need a big trans convo besides you just understanding this if you want. And there's an Instagram account called Break the Binary. But yeah, buy for real this time. Have an amazing drama-filled week, dude. Tons of tea. Okay, last thing I promise. <laughs> I'm making super secret vlogs for therapy as by gender. I can add you to the email list of friends who can see them. And, oh, dude. I Man, I can't think of anything I'd like more than to be on your mailing list for super secret vlogs about being by gender. Wow, what a great idea. Sign me up, please. I can't I want to be one of the first to know. I'll watch them with with my cereal in the morning. I can, what an exciting idea. <laughs> wow. If that's not cool too, no pressure. I'm recording the videos as if they were public even though they aren't. I know I didn't tell you, but at least trust that I'm not a virtue signally faggot. I'm not retarded. I know psychologic. I studied it. He, he studied psychologic. While you were wasting time in the gym, wasting time at work, he was studying psychologic. Trans people are mentally ill with gender dysphoria. I know I'm mentally ill and have gender dysphoria. It's not a fun condition, and I don't want to be non-binary. I'm a fucking person, bro, not a fucking optics machine pumping up perfectly optical, politically natural shit all day. How embarrassing. Just say that you're a faggot. Just get fucked in the ass by a dude, dude. Being a faggot's less gay than this shit. This shit where he's, like, obviously gay... And then he has to, like, pretend that he's, like, a straight man in, like, a, a they-them body. And it's like, that's so much gayer than just, like, getting fucked in the ass, bro. Just get fucked in the ass. Just say, like, getting fucked in the ass. Why, why are you gonna be this way? What's wrong with you? You know, it's, it's 2024 sweaty. You can just say that you're a faggot. <laughs> that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching this clip. This is Perspicacity. Remember to like and subscribe.